Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Pinto is here with me today. So it's my first day of winter break and I have um, really just neglected organizing any of my activewear and obviously I have too much. So we have a bunch of stuff around here. We have some more boxes over there and the closet is just a mess and I've been putting it off, but it just stresses me out to like not know where anything is. Even stuff within these little cabinets is just, just not organized. So today we'll be doing closet cleanup round two. I posted one of these like a year ago, but we're doing it again. I figured I have so much to clean up today that I'll film it. So I'm gonna have a bunch of clothes to get rid of, but also clothes to reorganize. And then I'm going to get a new little shelf thing from Target at some point today to put in the closet. Cause right now that's just not a good use of the space, like that little skinny one. So I'm gonna get a wider one and I tend to do that for sports bras. And then I'm going to hopefully get one more of these shelves, but just like the single one, not the double, um, because I don't really have room for the double, but I really need something else because I'm just, I'm running out of space. And I've kind of been liking organizing it by brand at this point. Like these are all Buff Bunny and then I have them organized by like, these are like prints and whatever. These are performance materials. This is all Newbury fabric and then these are all shorts. This cube is Alphalete, but I think I need to expand to a second cube. This is Camo, which I'm also running out of space. And then we have a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff. And then I also have some Christmas gifts in here that I need to pack and or wrap, whatever. And then this is all new stuff that I've gotten recently that I need to organize. And then that box up there is just stuff I need to get rid of. And honestly, I just need to start getting rid of stuff as soon as possible, not like hoarding it for a while. It's just tough because I like to get rid of stuff and give it to you guys, but it takes so much time and, and I just don't have a lot of time with like, you know, being a student. And then as soon as I'm done with school stuff, I try to like get content for you guys. And I feel like we appreciate the content more than maybe like a couple of you guys getting stuff, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Okay, my first task will be these bins over here because I tend to just kind of throw stuff in there when I'm not sure what to do with it, which is not a good habit. Um, I also made myself a smoothie because I got back from the gym and I'm hungry, so let's go through these bins. Okay, so this is all a bunch of Oxtrack stuff I got recently or just various Amazon stuff and I do want to keep the bras because I like those, but I wasn't a big fan of these leggings. I don't even know what brand this is. Okay, this looks like Oxtrax too, but I do not remember getting that one. Okay, then I have some Tom Tigers. I will keep these green ones, but I will get rid of the other ones. Got some navigation dupes I have to keep. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff. Maybe I'll just put it all in another box to later organize. I think that's going to be the plan. Okay, I have two categories of things that I keep. Things that I keep to actually wear or things that I keep that I think I might reference in a later video. And these like navigation dupes with like the scrunch, I feel like I might, I already did a navigation video though, so do I really need them? Maybe I don't, because I already did. I already did the video, so. Usually in this bin, I put stuff where I'm like about to review it, so that's what's gonna happen again. I'm gonna put some stuff where I need to actually review. Okay, now I have all my stuff that I'm going to review soon organized into this. Is it thrown into this? Yes, but at least I know it's all in one place, it's all together. And this box is all of the camo fitness stuff that launched recently that I had all nice and folded, but I clearly don't have the room in my camo cubicle. So I'm gonna need to do something about that, but we need to get this box. Sometimes you have to create some mess to eliminate the mess. So it's nice and folded, but it's gotta go. Now I need to get rid of these boxes. So I just got this Toluca stuff from their Black Friday sale. I wanted to give them another try and my big thing with Toluca was that their prices were like so ridiculous, but all these suits were at least 50% off. So I was like, okay, like airy price swimsuits, I'll, I'll take them. So got some swimsuits for an upcoming trip. And then Cleo Harper sent me a bunch of this stuff 
which is all very summery, which is good because I am going on a trip to a tropical location soon. And then some like fun little beach cover-up situations. I've always wanted to wear those like cute little linen outfits that people wear on those like fancy trips, but I've never bought one, but they sent me some, so that is mine. So those are these well, my trip pile. And then this box is all stuff from the recent Alphalete launch, which I got like the day before the launch, so I wasn't able to film a review. Then a bunch of neutral seamless sets from Elus, which I'm super pumped about. But these are super cute because they have like a little scrunch. They're thicker than Amplifies, but I feel like we're gonna be, they're gonna be equally flattering. So I am excited about these. Okay, and now I'm a little stuck because I feel like it's pointless to start organizing before I have the space to organize. So, I need my drawers and I need my shelves. So I think this might be as much as we do right now and then I'll go get my shelves soon. I am freshly showered and now we're off to Target and Ikea so I can hopefully start cleaning up. I'd really like to finish this today because I'd like to get back to my regularly scheduled filming stuff tomorrow and Monday, but let's go. Okay, so I went to multiple Targets and a Home Depot and I finally found my little three unit uh, clear shelf thing. So I got that and I got my Ikea shelves, which online it said they weren't in stock and they had like a bunch of them. So um, you guys often ask me like what my shelves are. These are the Calyx shelves and that, that's the same as I have over there, except this one is just like one row instead of the two that I have over there. So the Calyx shelves, these were like 50 bucks. You do have to build them yourself or you do have to get um, a lovely Ian to build them for you. He just built himself a little, a little desk thing. Um, we've been waiting for that for like a year at this point because we have the same desks, but they didn't have the little shelves. So he just had legs. He didn't have any shelf space, space which was annoying. So now I'm just unboxing this so Ian can help me build it. couldn't get this all done in one day. So now I'm gonna start cleaning out the other side of the closet, which um, I clearly have just thrown a bunch of clothes that I did not want. So I think it's time to get out the trash bags. hard to get rid of things because I feel like especially if like someone like, gifted it to me but I just like have so much stuff that I can't I can't keep everything so if I don't feel like I'm gonna wear it again it's going away okay I got these sports bras from Titan and I like them but like do I do the white and black or the black and white Okay, now the moment of dreading. I have to go through all of this stuff. And kind of what I'm thinking is these top two rows will be Buff Bunny. These will be Alphalete. And I'm going to move all of my Alphalete sports bras to the sports bra section. And then I'm going to have some camo. And then I'm going to have some miscellaneous. And then this will also be all miscellaneous. And uh, I just don't know where to start. I think I just need to start clearing out all this stuff and just see if this is all worth keeping and make start making it into piles maybe. It should be mostly awful lead stuff. Now 
through these shelves and decide if I'm keeping things, getting rid of them, or what. Guys, I'm going in a trip down memory lane. I have um, the original Gymshark Flex leggings, which never really were my favorite. They kind of like frayed apart. The original Do You Even Impact Seamless that like 10 million companies have made dupes of. The very first ever pair of camo fitness leggings. I've literally been working with them since their first ever pair of leggings launched. And some OG women's vests that I bought. Well, the pair of leggings I tie-dyed myself. Good morning guys, progress has been made. Um, all of the leggings in the little cubbies are now organized, so. So we'll go through a full breakdown when I am completely done of how I'm organizing this. This is some more stuff to get rid of and now it's time to organize all of my sports bras and tops in here. Did you bring me a spring, buddy? Did you bring me a spring? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm all done organizing. Um, did a little extra organization in my room. That's kind of where I keep like my sweats and everything, but I wanted to show how it turned out. So this is the first cubby of all of the leggings. So I have all of my Buff Bunny stuff up here. I have shorts here. This is all like Nubri fabrics, soft fabrics. This is all um, performance materials. And I guess this is like energy fabric and prints. Then I have this whole row is Alpha Elite stuff. This is all seamless, so like amplifies, uh, revivals. This is all brushed, so surface and Alpha Lux. Here are performance materials, which I don't have that many, just like the, this Pulse collection, and then some joggers. Then this is all camo fitness, so I just have solids here and prints here. And then this is all tier, so I have all of my tie-dyes, which are like my favorite ones from them, so all my tier tie-dyes, solids. And then I have all my joggers down here. Um, I have some more joggers like up here for Alphalete that I just like, kind of kept them separate, so, so I have some joggers here. I just have like a little stack of like black leggings and black shorts, just like in case I ever want like a basic pair of black leggings. I just want it to be easy to find, so mixed brands there. And then I just have some Nipoa Gym leggings. And now we go over to my new rack, which was very helpful. So here we just have some miscellaneous shorts. Here I have some Petula, some Cleo Harper. Here a bunch of mixed stuff. So I have like some Gymshark, some Colorful Koala, some random brands. Then I guess we have some more random brands. This is all kind of like a mix of like brands that I don't really have a lot of stuff from. So just like a couple pieces and some more mixed items out here. And then we go into the closet. So this is closet side number one. So I have a bunch of jackets up here. Then I have um, just some like longer tanks. 
Then I have all of my built-in bra tanks, which have like a million of those. And then in the very far end that you can't really see, I have like seamless long sleeve shirts, which I like to wear on like walks and hikes. And then we go down to sports bra shelves number one. On the top, I didn't even have to like reorganize this. This is all Buff Bunny sports bras. Also, all Buff Bunny sports bras. I have a lot of Buff Bunny bras, but they're like my favorite bras. And then two little Lululemon bras in here too. And then bras of various brands. So like, I got like Napo Gym, I got some Gymshark. I have like some Aloe Yoga, some Yvette, some Camo. I have this little empty one right here because inevitably, like literally by like end of January, I feel like I'm already gonna have more stuff. So it's just nice to have the option of some more space. And then my new little three unit shelf thing. Okay, so this one I did today. So this is all Alphalete sports bras. We have all the seamless bras. Then I have all my like pulse bras, all my surface and Alphalax. And then this is kind of like, it's not the best organized because shirts are harder to fold than sports bras. So sports bras all fit together really well. This is a lot of shirts. So we have like my ultra soft tops, some other tops. And I don't know, I just like, have trouble finding things if they're all hung up too much. So I've just been folding them. Some more tops, mostly Alphalete, but then I have some Buff Bunny and then just some random brands here. And then the last one, I don't have enough to fill this one yet, but I probably will ha eventually have enough sports bras. But I just got a bunch of Cleo Harper bras, which their bras are so beautiful. Some Petula and some random brands. And that is everything. I feel so happy that it's all like cleaned up now. I feel so organized in here. I know where everything is. I posted like a little Instagram story today um, showing that it was all organized and someone was like, LOL, like how long is that gonna last? Like guys, I stay very organized. Like I take out a sports bra and when it's time for laundry, I fold them all back and put them back. So it lasts a long time. I'd collected so many things and I just wasn't loving the organization that it was before. So it just was time to do a full clean out. And now I have, now I have six trash bags of stuff to organize. So usually my mom helps me with bundles and sending things out. Um, Cause I'm basically just trying to like get rid of as much as I can. Like I'm not trying to like make a bunch of money off of it. So I sell the bundles for like five to $10 and I'm just doing like mystery boxes this time. So like you kind of can see what's in there, but keep updated on my Instagram stories. I am hoping to do this early next year to get rid of all this stuff, but sometimes it just takes a lot of time, but eventually it'll come time where I need to get rid of them. And you guys will hear about it. Okay, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, more content coming soon. I'm about to head home for a little trip, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.